So what have you got for me, Len? Well, Mr. Donaghy, you're pretty clean. And your sex life checks out real nice. Thank you. There are a couple of things, though, that could get in the way of this promotion. Like, you should probably give up your membership to the all-white Woodvale Country Club. That is not an all-white club. What about Johnny Carlos? He's ethnic. He's the king of Spain, Jack. I don't think that counts. <laughs> all right. I'll resign. OK, you also have an undocumented domestic employee. Manuelo? No, I need Manuelo. I could never pay an English-speaking person that little. They'd starve. <sighs> all right, I'll send him home. All right, well, that's it. Unless you think I missed something. No, I think I'm very thorough. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Oh, Jack. One last thing. You don't have a massive collection of cookie jars, do you? How did you find out about that? Collector of the year. Congratulations, Victor Nightingale. Thank you. Yes, I'm Victor Nightingale. This is bad. CEOs don't have thousands of cookie jars. Weird little guys in bow ties do. You hear what I'm getting at? What? You're saying it's a gay thing? <laughs> you wish it was a gay thing. This is worse. You got to get rid of them. No, I'm not doing that. I've already made enough sacrifices for this company. They're not going to get this. This is Rudolph Giuliani in 1987 with his collection of antique wooden dolls. That's a fake. Giuliani doesn't collect dolls. Yeah, you're right. He doesn't, because he incinerated them in 1989, the year he ran for mayor. He looks so happy. Oh, Jack, the choice is yours. You can either be the head of the largest corporation in America or get buried in a bow tie with a bunch of cookie jars.